I am ending the day with an oldie but goodie. I just got to Penmar Antiques Market and I haven't been here since I moved. So let's go in and see what's changed. Well, you guys know how I love finding stuff in craft booths. Sure enough, oh, this awesome little poodle, unfortunately, this um, salt and pepper shaker set has a chip, but they're only $4 and they're pie Japan. That's a really good deal. I feel like I could make money off of them, even though they had a little bit of a nick. Now I also notice some of these are newer, but some of them are older. Um, the little frogs, those are pretty cute set. I don't see a price tag on those, unfortunately. That's probably why they're still here. Dang. Well, that's disappointing. The skunks are fun, but I've had that one before. Yeah, I don't think I want to buy them with the chip on them like that. I definitely don't want to linger here. It's uh, <laughs> colder inside than it is outside. Kind of fun. Halloween themed thimble. Yeah, I got really lucky in this booth when it first opened. They had a bunch of... Uh, older piggy banks. These ones all look like Taiwan and China for the most. There's one of those ashtrays. These are made in Japan. Uh, $14, especially with the paint loss. That's probably about what I'd get for that. There's a lot going on in this little booth. Of course, the cat teapot. I got a really fun cat teapot set here. This one's new though. That's definitely made in China. Um, the one I got was made in Japan. Yeah, definitely a lot has been rearranged, but nothing, nothing for me today. Is this, is this what I think it is? It is. Odagiri. That's what I was trying to think of earlier. Um, what is this one? <laughs> that one's kind of funny. They have one that's like this, except it's kind of like a risque cat. I've only ever seen it in person once. Ooh. It's been a while since I picked up a vintage lighter. I love table lighters. They usually sell pretty well, but this one's missing uh, missing parts there. They always have such great little stuff in this booth too. I've never seen the, the Cardinal set like that. Well, maybe I haven't. I just haven't paid attention. Stuff like this is usually in cases. <laughs> and um, I can be bad with cases. $6 is super fair. They definitely have a little bit more paint loss than I'd like. I, I do believe I could still make money on that, but I'm just being a little picky since I've been at it all day. The one thing that really caught my attention, I think they've looked at these before, yeah. $12, that's about what I get for those. They're so cute though. And then none of this was here the last time I was here. This is, I guess it's a new vendor. What's going on with this vase? That's kind of strange. Huh, not really my style. Well, uh, my attention was drawn by the gl uh, Glass Hazel Atlas Strawberry, $7. That's a very good price. Um, it's a little pop of color, but then I saw this decanter with the mini mugs, $20. That is quite fantastic. I don't think there's much room in that for me. I'm looking for a discount. I don't think there's much of a discount, although it's really hard to find these complete like that. I love, I love the that I think I can make a couple bucks. I mean, I know I can make a couple bucks off of it. I'm just not. Let's see what's like what it's like. Um, the condition without all its mini mugs on it. Man, I'm kind of tempted by that. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I had to switch it up a little bit because uh, the vendor I was trying to go in, their booth was restocking. So I'm gonna give them a second to do their thing before I uh, raid that. What is going on? That's weird. Well, I'm actually a little bummed. A lot of the stuff I see is definitely on the newer side. It's just not my day in here today. This booth wasn't here before. They got the little Josef Originals girls. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Lego Japan angel with the turkey. That is so strange. <laughs> Something about that one doesn't look right in the face. Uh, hmm. Okay, but wait. Uh, here's one of those lamps. And why does this say $5? 
That is so freaking cool. I feel like, um, did we, did we see if it works? No, that, that, that's something else. What is, there's so many cords here. Okay, it would help if it was plugged in. <laughs> it does work, but I'm pretty surprised. I didn't realize uh, these were as new as they were. I thought they were at least 80s, but made in China, I cannot see past that. So, unfortunately, uh, that's not for me. This is kind of a nice $15, though. That's about what I'd sell that for, too. And <laughs> I can't help but notice the Chippendale playing cards. What's going on with this? basket. I really like the colors on that. Four dollars. Is that a chip? Um, no, not really. It's made in Japan. I think that's pretty neat. For four bucks, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. It's kind of different. Hmm, random head vase. Sixty-five dollars. No, thank you. Got a really nice display of Pyrex, though. I really like this striped one. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen that. Ooh, checkerboard. Six dollars. That's kind of fun. And it's Fire King. Is that, what is going on at the bottom of this thing though? Looks like it's uh, seen better days. Yeah, kind of gross. All right, well, this booth is definitely new stuff, but I love these mermaid earrings. Those are so cool. Huh, $15. All right, that makes me feel better. Whoa, look at this reproduction mermaid. These are so cute. I love the style of this booth. Well, this one, this little lacquered box, that's kind of nice. It's heart-shaped, it's only $4 still. Oh, wait a minute. Well, this is obviously new, but I kind of like how someone has painted that. See a lot of cute, kitschy, Eastery stuff in here. They've got a random left in rabbit, five dollars. That's a good deal. Um, it's this bank here that caught my attention. <laughs> I think that is so fun. It's got a little. It's only four dollars and fifty cents. I think that excuses this. Let's see if we can fix that. Can we pop that back in, or is it? No, I think it's. Yeah, I think it's just like that, unfortunately. Dang, I was gonna say, that is so cute. Um, I don't really wanna buy it with the damaged foot, though. Look at this hobbyist rabbit. He's pretty cute. It's a little bit on the newer side. I've bought and sold those in the past. Um, it's not really my thing. I try, I'm trying to stay away from a lot of the hobbyist pieces just because um, things have been kind of slow recently so I'm trying to be picky about things that will sell quickly. All right hopefully this uh, vendor has finished by now. Looks like she's finished up. So these ashtrays, $10. These are really well priced. They usually sell pretty well. I've had them a few times. I pick them up from time to time especially when I like the colors but I'm kind of over that beige color. This is kind of neat. Little owl toothpick holder. That is cute. Four dollars. Korea. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Uh, I feel like somebody could find use for this. Yo, what? Look at these. Oh my gosh, how cool are those? I'm gonna look these up. I've never seen these before. So I'm pretty surprised to see they actually don't sell for that much. There's a few listed on uh, eBay right now for less than that. And then here's one of those sewing boxes like I saw the other day at Northgate. Love the fact that it's got the cats, but it's got a crack in it. I am not really seeing much else over here, honestly. All right, let's see what else they got in this aisle before I head home. Of course, I noticed this little chick planter that is so stinking cute. Nine dollars and ten percent, so eight bucks. I can make a couple dollars off that. It's been a while since I found one of these, so definitely a little bit more than I'd like to pay a little bit on the higher side. And they've got this duck one. This one I've had before, and it took a while to sell. Um, the chick one definitely sells better. And then hazel Alice strawberry, eight dollars and fifty cents. Not bad. This egg is kind of interesting to me because of the stars. I'm not sure if I'm just, huh. It's 
kind of strange that I like that. And last but not least, I like this ashtray set, but 15, even with 20% is a little steep. What is going on here? Three cast iron cat faces, $20, what? That's a really good deal, but they're a little bit more beat up than I would like. They always have such random stuff in here. <laughs> like, what is going on here? Is this... It's just like a belt. Ooh, look at this ewer. ewer. This urn, I guess I should say, 29. That's really pretty. I used to have one of those in my house. Huh. You know what? I wish this was a little bit smaller so I could, um ship it it's really pretty especially it's 50 percent off it's a crazy good deal hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it back i don't know i think i'm i think i've become shopped out it's that time okay but also wait <laughs> look at this amazing pick holder wow that is awesome I, a couple of them have like damage on their ears but really really interesting piece and i like this cat too that is cool wait a minute is that key worthy i think that little cat family is key worthy especially because now i'm just seeing that they have 25 percent off um the ring dish at 25 percent off with the cat is a little close still for me at 12. hmm yeah, if I can find something else that makes it worthwhile, I feel like I'm going to grab those. So actually, you know what? That is a really good price. It's hard to find those little bone china cats. They're so cute, especially the one with the bluebird. I think I sold that one for 13 alone, let alone all of them together. Yeah, I'm going to get a key. I don't know why I'm so attracted to this. It's really pretty. It's only $6 and then 20% off. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this too. Yeah, it's really different, and I love the hand painting. <laughs> Look at this creepy thing. <laughs> oh, it's really kind of weird. What's up with the glass fish, though? A hundred years to service our community. 1988. It is a little vintage, huh? Interesting. Not what I was expecting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this purse. How fantastic. How much is this? Oh, just kidding. That's not, there's nothing funny about that. I got my little cat family. I was about to check out when I saw this. That's kind of different too. It's only $5 and I'm looking for the discount. I kind of think that's neat with the peace sign. I think I'm going to grab that as well. Let's see, am I missing anything else? Well, I only spent $24 in there, which means I spent $288 total throughout the entire day. I'm calling it, I'm going home, and I will see you guys, well, I guess I'll see you guys tonight for the haul, and then I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m.